Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are not, welcome back. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make five different connectors. The materials we are using 14 gauge wire a flush cutter a round nose pliers a nylon jaw pliers and a ruler and there's a list of all the items I use in the description box and I'm going to start with this four loop connector to begin use your nylon jaw pliers to straighten the wire place the wire between the barrels of the round nose pliers then make a loop Then place the pliers under the loop that you've made. Wrap the wire around the barrel of the pliers. Readjust your pliers. Then take the wire all the way to the back and next to the first loop you made. Next, you are going to make another loop beside the first loop you made. This time, you are going to take the wire under the first two loops. And you are going to make another loop as you can see here. Bring the wire underneath all three loops and adjust your pliers as you go along. Then use your flush cutter to cut the wire as I'm doing right here. Then go ahead and use your nylon jaw pliers to squeeze the loop stuff. You can use these as um, two-way connectors or you can use them as a four-way connector. And you can use jump rings to attach them. And moving on to the next connector. So trim your wire flush. Then make a loop at the 1.5 inches mark. And with the loop facing you, place the wire between the barrels of, the, of your pliers, then make a loop like so. Then use your nylon jaw pliers to squeeze the loops down. Then 
Next, you are going to cut your wire at the 1.5 inches mark. Next, turn the connector over to the figure 8 side, then use your finger to shape it like I'm doing right here. Next, you are going to make loops on both ends with your round nose pliers. So this is just another way that you can make the loop. When the loop is facing down like this, then you, are, you will be able to connect it without using jump rings. Next, we are going to make this figure 8 or infinity link. Next, you are going to place the wire between the barrels of the, the row nose supplies, then make a loop away from you. And with the loop facing you, go ahead and place the pliers underneath the loop. Take the wire to the back of the pliers to complete the loop. And you can go ahead and use your nylon jaw pliers or your chain nose pliers to squeeze the ends in. So there are multiple ways in which you can use these links and here I'm showing you two ways that you can use it. You can connect them using jump rings or you can use them link by link. And moving on to the next link so this connector is kind of similar to the figure 8 connector except the top loop is um, large while the bottom is small
and moving on to the last um, connector and this connector follows the same pattern as the first one except you will be making three loops and not four And as you can see right here, the third loop is a lot bigger than what it is meant to be. So I'm going to use the flush cutter to trim the excess, then close it with the raw nose pliers. And there you go, five connectors that you can use.